Welcome to this video review. As you can see in front of me, I have a new zero compromise optic, their biggest model, 5 to 27 by 56. So I would like to start this review with a small uh, introduction of zero compromise optic. So basically this is a completely new company. It was formed in 2018. So they came out with their first scopes in uh, 2019 from uh, at least in serial production. They did uh, attend EVA and Cho in 2018 and they showed both of these two models. This one, the Z ZC527 and the ZC420. So they also have a 4 to 20 by 50. Very similar model to this but a little bit more compact. Uh, they're based in Austria really near Vienna and uh, they produce many things not only scopes but they are known for fine mechanics so everything what you see here is produced in Austria and to the really finest possible precision with zero compromise like they like to say but they didn't start that they came just out of thin air and started to produce uh, tactical rifle scopes um, people behind this company have a wealth of experience from this field. So Jeff from, from the American side, because this is a multinational company, uh, he worked for Night Force for more than 20 years and then he worked for Kales Tactical in the USA. And then we have Robert on the Austrian side who was a, a CEO of Kales for many years. So they joined now together and they formed Zero Compromise Optic and they produce probably one of the best tactical rifloscopes on the market. Uh, the main philosophy of the company is to produce well optics without any compromise and to find solutions to general problems in this category of products. So immediately when you see uh, this 5 to 20, uh, 27 by 56 uh, model scope or 4 to 20 by 50 you see that their approach is that uh, they did things a little bit differently to others and they overcome a couple of problems that the uh, majority of uh, producers of tactical rifloscopes face. So first thing what you are able to see is that they use 36 millimeter main tube. Uh, the only other company which was the first to produce 36 millimeter main tube was Hensoldt. Later Zeiss used this uh, dimension on their uh, Victory V8 scopes. So why did they decide for this uncommon tube diameter? Uh, so that they are able to achieve best possible elevation, 35 mils of elevation, without any compromise in, in the holding of point of impact and optical performance. Because we know that majority of scopes have problems that when you go to the extremes of the elevation range, the optical performance fades, it fades, it's, it's not good as it is in the center. Normally this also happens with zero compromise but on a, loss, a lot lesser scale. So, and all in all, from what we have tested, I have to be honest, we have this scope in our stock for almost two months. So we did a uh, side-by-side test with all other manufacturers and they are among the best. They, they offer the best possible resolution and they offer the best possible light transmission rate. So especially if you try the scope in low light conditions, then you see it really performs well. But this is only part of the story. So at the moment they have two scopes, both of them from the highest class and with all possible features you can imagine. Um, if I go a little bit more through the details about the build and the physical properties, you can see that the scope is roughly 39 centimeters long, 38 point something. And this is roughly three to four centimeters shorter than majority of competitors. Most of the competitors are above 40 centimeters. Then what you see, it's a little bit different than all the competitors. The magnification ring is bigger, wider than on the competitors. It's made out of fully out of metal, uh, really nicely ergonomically designed, and it's really smooth and the smoothness is the same on everywhere so you need roughly 180 degrees of rotation to come from 5 all the way to 27 
What is also important is that when they started to design this scope, uh, at least they say that they started with a blank piece of paper, so the entire optical design is completely new. Because we know that majority of 5 to 25 scopes, uh, they all come from the same root, uh, a lot of them, and they have similar problems. One of the main problems is, if you ever checked, uh, um, I would say, other famous brands, the tunnel effect on lower magnifications. This is something what you will not see in the zero compromise. There is no tunnel effect whatsoever. Uh, I also believe it's very durable, even though we didn't pull it on 50 BMG and test it. But I would uh, expect for it from people that have so much experience with tactical scopes that this is true. Because also the design, the main, uh, the chief engineer for, for the design and development, he was the guy who was uh, involved in the designing of uh, Kale SK 624i, uh, Kale SK 16, Kale SK 15. He also went and worked for Leica for some time and so on. So he's a he's a man with a really a lot of experience. Um, so it's shockproof for all the calibers. is also completely waterproof, and you can use the scope in wide range of temperatures. Um, the parallax, as you can see, the parallax goes all the way down to 25 meters and up on the other side to infinity. You can see that there is really a lot of travel from infinity to 25 yards, so it's really precise parallax. Um, you can also see that there is an illumination ring beside the parallax. And it has a click on the on this side where where it's uh, um, when it's turned off. Then in this direction, if you go here, you have a low light settings, which are completely almost invisible in in daytime. And here you go from continuously all the way from zero to daytime bright settings. Uh, you probably noticed that I removed the cap from the battery compartment, so the battery is a normal CR2032 and you see two switches inside. You see one switch where you can turn on and off the position sensor. So the position sensor is that when you go with the scope 45 degrees in any of the directions the illumination turns off and the same when you go down or up 75 percent the illumination turns off. This is really great because let's say that you forgot the illumination turned on you put the scope into your safe together with the rifle normally and then it will eat your battery if the position sensor is uh, turned off. They give you the choice that you are able to leave it turned on or off. And another feature which is also very interesting, you see here R and G, so red and green illumination. You can choose which color of illumination you wish to have. Really nice because we know that some people are colorblind, so red illumination is not the best for everyone. Uh, and everything is really nicely made, all the, all the tolerances and everything is really, really precise. The weight of the scope is approximately 1.1 kilogram, so it's roughly with uh, the same like all other uh, scopes in this category. It's a little bit less, they, they even say that it's uh, 1,075 grams. Um, it's made in Austria, near Vienna, and it comes with a 30 years warranty. So if I go to the reticle, at the moment there is only one reticle available, and I will show you uh, uh, a chart of this reticle. So here you can see all the reticle subtensions for the reticle which is inside of the scope. There are two models at the moment, so MPCT1 and MPCT2. Uh, this one will be far more popular, I think, because now we know that we live in a world where this trend of Christmas tree reticles is really popular, and to be honest, these reticles are really useful. Uh, in this chart you get all the substantial data, and this the same reticle is also available in 4 to 20 model. You can also see a basic description how to use the reticle for measuring the distance, our evaluation of the distance and for all other use. At the moment this scope can only be ordered with mil reticles and mil clicks, so it's a um, matched mil-mil scope. 
I also think because they call themselves zero compromise optic that uh, the right way will be just to stay with mill bill but because the American market is really important for them maybe in the future they will also do MOA MOA scope we will see let's wait together with the scope you also get a manual and it gives you the basic information you can see both of these two models inside you can you get the basic information how to mount it what is the proper torque value the all the um, specifications how to focus parallax adjustment retic illumination everything is inside what you need to know at the beginning how to use your scope so you also get a cleaning cloth uh, normal bikini covers and a neoprene cover for the whole scope or a neo neoprene um, we, we usually say um, it's a sock neoprene sock for the scope um, I would just say that the reticle is really well designed so it's able you're able to see immediately that uh, guys who des were designing the reticle they really knew how to do it and they knew their business um, because sometimes at, at least with more affordable products you also see christmas tree reticles but which you immediately see have some design flaws and are not really usable so they have th christmas tree design just to be likable but not really usable but this is not the case here if we go to the next segment are the turrets and here it's really special so you know majority of technical scopes they have double turn turret this scope has a double turn turret with additional five mils of travel in the third turn so as you can see i intentionally left it here at the beginning of the second turn so when you go into the second turn you see that the uh, the turn indicator pops out and when you go into the third turn you see now the turn indicator popped out again so now you know that you're re already at 30 mils and you're going all the way to 35 and uh, this is I would say almost astonishing because you're able to keep track in which turn you're in but you still have 35 turns 35 mils in three turns really a lot so the elevation range on this uh, uh, rifle scope is huge especially if we count that uh, it goes all the way to 27 times uh, magnification uh, the turrets normally also have the zero stop it's six clicks below zero so yeah, see it like here. Five and one additional click, six. They also have the locking mechanism and you can reset them. You can reset the zero with these two screws. So you just unlock the screws and then put the turret on zero and it would work. The same goes for the, for the windage. The windage is also lockable and the windage You can see that the clicks are really audible and crisp mechanically really precise so they are among the best i have seen like it should be especially for the price point this rifle scope costs 3740 euros so it's in the in the top class um if we go to the optical performance and optical parts so 5 to 20 to 27 it's very similar to 5 to 25 to be honest so 5 times zoom 56 millimeter objective lens and 7 meters of uh, field of view on 100 meters at the lowest magnification which is i would say average but still when you take into consideration the brightness of the image and the resolution it's it's in in the top segment uh, the most important is no tunnel effect no tunnel effect whatsoever and uh, eye relief is 90 millimeters, which is normally four inches almost, but I would mention good, really good eye box. Even when you go on extremes with elevation, you still, normally the eye box worsens a bit, but less than with competition, with most of the competition. Um, what is also important is that if you check the fast focus on this scope, here, here you're able to 
correct your diopter setting of your eye and here you basically focus your reticle so the reticle is really really uh, crisp and clear and this scope has a locking mechanism for the fast focus this is something which is really rare in this category I would say that at the moment I think only Tang and Theta has this uh, and before in the in the previous times uh, Premier reticles had the same system so I like seeing this uh, feature um, come back again on the market with zero compromise okay uh, if I do a short summary like I always do at the end of all of my reviews I go through the positives and I go through the sour or what could have been improved first of all let's start with the positives uh, optical performance it is really top-notch among the best if not the best mechanical performance when you see the mechanical crispiness or how to say how clear the clicks are and how audible the clicks are and how the locking mechanism is made and this three turns turret with a with a, a turn indicator mechanical turn indicator then you see the mechanical quality of this scope i also like the design philosophy so i like that they went and uh, you can see probably that this made finish <laughs> takes off my skin all the time uh, probably this is the reason also because now we are in this corona times and I'm using alcohol for my and sanitizer for my hands all the time but uh, I think that going for a 36 millimeter main tube it's really smart because honestly speaking there is a lot of 36 millimeter mounting options on the market at the moment because of the size size and hand so they both have 36 millimeter tube and a lot of producers like um, Air Attack and Spur and Tier 1 and similar, they all went and started to produce 36 millimeter rings. And all of 36 millimeter rings are really high quality rings. So I understand that they took 36 millimeter tube and said, okay, this tube, tube gives us more opportunity to really do mechanically and optically the perfect design and mounts are out on the market so it won't be a problem to mount it um, I also like the elevation range 35 mils of elevation range and all of it available on the turret that's something almost unseen on um, in this in this category um, I also like the story of I would say they're, they're really a new player they're almost like a, in English they say an underdog because uh, all other brands are really well established uh, and zero comp compromise optics they start from I would say almost from nothing they start to produce optics in, in Vienna this is also a big plus made in Europe and really truly all the mechanical parts are made in one single factory in Vienna this is something what really rarely anyone can match and I like the story I like that they come they came and said okay we will do best possible tactical scope and I think that they really succeeded in this regard I also like the length I know that three centimeters is not much but still they are shorter than than majority of other competitors okay now what could have been done better I would say that for this price maybe they could edit flip up covers um, it's not a big thing to be honest but I'm almost picky here I also think that it's on it's it's hard to to explain but on one side they came they are not established yet and then came out with a scope for 3740 euros but on the other side they are offering a scope which is unmatched by others so myself personally I would pay the premium I would pay those 300 400 euros more than for other manufacturers because they do offer more elevation they do offer I would say better optical performance um, what I think also could have been done better is the turn indicator the turn indicator is really great if you have a double turn turret but uh, in the third turn it just go, goes up for additional millimeter or two um, this could have been done somehow better I would say I, I don't have idea how but I would imagine that when you go into the third turn maybe you have a double turn indicator so the first pop out uh, pops out in, in the second turn and then the second one pops out in the third turn or something like that um, and apart from that 
I really don't have much to say in the in the, in the sour compartment of uh, or sour field of this scope. It's really really well made, and it excels in so many different areas. So all in all, I think this is one of the best technical scopes you can buy. It also has this aura of uh, being really rare and being something special. Um, I think that a lot of people will like it for it. Um, so I think you cannot go wrong with buying this scope. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please check our other reviews. Check also the reviews from the competitors. And if you liked our channel, please subscribe.